Hi, I'm Jim Dilley, 6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. As a former building inspector and a guy who's looked at a lot of houses that burned, uh, I messed up big time. And I'll show you why in a few seconds. Stand by. Whiskey 6 Lima calling CQ, hello CQ. CQ calling CQ, hello CQ. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Um. During the years I worked for the county, I worked as a real estate appraiser and a building inspector. And also after that, I was on my own as a building inspector and worked for um, Allstate Insurance and a couple of other places. Um, did look at some houses that burned. Uh, usually, it was my experience that the fire was either uh, a brush fire or something really dumb happened inside the house. And by that, I, I don't mean the necessarily that the owner did something to, to cause it. The one I remember the best was uh, in the living room, there had been a 20 inch uh, fan standing upright. So it's a box fan. And apparently the dog knocked the fan over, the fan blade jammed, the cord got red hot over time, set the carpet on fire and burned most of the house down. Um, I almost had a similar thing happen, and it's just about as dumb, and it was my mistake. Here's what the plug looks like on my linear amplifiers. There's a plastic cover and three screws that appear to be brass, but may not be, uh, and they connect to the prongs. So I turned on the amp, and it sort of faulted, and I was going to do a video on um, uh, RG8X and put a kilowatt into it with the Drake amps, they're pretty forgiving of highest WR and they don't throttle back as much. Well, I turned it on and it sort of faulted and then I turned it on again and it faulted again and it made a buzzing sound. I thought, what the heck? So I um, uh, turned it off, killed the breaker, unplugged it from the wall. And here's what I found when I, I as I looked at the, uh, at the plug, I could see that the area around one of the prongs was uh, badly burned. Opened the thing up finally, I had to cut the, uh, the cover away, and found that most of the inside had been charred, and I mean big time. So how did that happen? As near as I can tell, um, the screw worked loose. I had tinned the wire, and maybe that was a mistake. So the screw worked loose, um, started to form carbon, and went downhill rapidly from there. Plug was on the cord maybe two years. Um, did I smell it? Nope. Did I see the high voltage dip? Nope. Um, it's got a big power supply. Uh, I just luckily pulled the plug after I killed the breaker and saw the black mark around uh, the one prong and decided that I better take a look inside. So you can see how this is uh, just eaten away, uh, burned away. Uh, the original one side by side with uh, or one that's pristine rather with uh, as a comparison. I won't use this plug again. It uh, It's made overseas, um, not a good device. And I think I bought it because it was, because it was inexpensive, but uh, I was well within the readings of the plug and didn't exceed its readings in the amplifier um, well within the limits that it says in the instruction book. What happened apparently was I had tinned the wire, cranked the screw, screw down, and it worked this over time because the wire couldn't be crushed because I had tinned it. So it was a huge mistake on, on my part. All right, um, that's the story. If you have a comment, please uh, post it below. If you um, have a suggestion about this, maybe you're a fire inspector or building inspector or electrician or an engineer, um, I'd love to hear the comments. Um, yeah, it's my fault. I